guys, Jason here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out this 1976 JMP2203. This is part two of a two-part series of videos, right? Part one, I had a look at the amp and restored it to stock. And we had a look at the difference that a bright cap makes on the gain pot of one of these classic JMPs. Today, the video is focused on a set of mods to kind of modernize this old thing, right? Retains that classic Marshall crunch and Kerrang, but it perhaps brings it into a bit more of a kind of modern amp, you know, with a bit of a uh, bit of nice bottom end and a bit, a bit tighter in the preamp. <laughs> These mods I've shown on the channel before, all right? Have a look at the Jakey Lee mod video that I did f with my 1980 JMP, which is sitting behind me right over here. I still have those mods in on my JMP. It's killer, right? It's great. So if you've got one of those or a clone of it, you know, you can have a play with these mods. So to demonstrate the impact of each of the mods, I've actually recorded a riff into the looper of my Axe Effects and I've played it through and recorded it into the amp as stock. And then after every single change, there's about four or five kind of main mods here that have made up the, you know, the total mod to the amp. So after each change, I have played the loop back through the amp and recorded it, right? So what we'll do now is I will go through that series of loops with each change and you can kind of hear the incremental difference that each of the main mods makes to the tone of the amp. Let's go through these mods one by one. Okay, number one is the depth mod. It's right here. It's a 220K uh, resistor, carbon film, one watt, with a 470, 4,700 picofarad, I should say, ceramic cap, right? So that's a 0 0.0047 microfarad, okay, just in parallel. And it's off the 8 ohm tap. Right, this board's got a 100k negative feedback resistor. Um, and I could have left this on the 4 ohm tap and moved this to 47k, but I'd rather leave the resistor alone. Just move this from 4 ohm tap to 8 ohm tap. A little bit more negative feedback in the amp. Tightens it up and brings the depth into play. <laughs>
okay mod number two is the um what's going on here i'll take a photo of this on the side so you can see it but i've left the 10k the standard 10k cold clipper cathode resistor is still on the board i haven't removed it so that's you know i do these this mod is done so it's kind of reversible very easily reversible to stop right there's no drilling nothing i've done with this mod is not reversible if you want to put the amp back to stock so i've paralleled in a 3k3 on top of the 10k to give me a 2k5 uh cathode and that's a 0.68 bypass cap doing the same job as this guy so it's a 2k7.68 and a 2k5.68 so you know the traditional cascade right 2k7.68 2k7.68 or close enough to 2k7.68 um i've replaced this stock unshielded green uh wire like this this kind of stuff right um from the input jack i've ran run shielded coax all right so if you do this mod you'll find if you don't kind of replace particularly off that um off the input jacks to the first gain stage which is v1b on these is the first gain stage v1a is the second gain stage you can see that this guy's already had um, someone's already put shielded coax from the gain pot and it runs across to v1b but from the input jack which is the most critical grid to protect against noise that was not shielded so as soon as i put this 2k7.68 bypass in this was as noisy as hell right um so absolutely essential to put shielded coax from your input jacks to the first grid and that's a 33k grid stopper there which was on the board as a as a 68k taking that off and you want your grid stopper actually right on the on the socket you don't want it back like that away from the socket so that's mod number two right fix up the second cathode to get more gain <laughs> number three is to um, thin out the base and a little bit of gain in the preamp and you've seen me do, do this before with this mod rather than pull this 0.022 cap out which is what I'd have to do um, sorry it's this one here <laughs> it was backwards on a Marshall um, this is the first gain so this is the this is the coupling cap for the first gain stage right so even though you, you plug your guitar in here on the high input it actually goes to v1b first so this is the first coupling cap on this side this is v1a um, which is the second gain stage so this guy here rather than pull that out that is a stock coupling cap 1976 from the factory leave it in there what i do instead is in series put my 0.0022 this guy here so this pink wire here is coming from the other side of this coupling cap okay other side of the coupling cap pink wire here it is right here and then i've inserted my 0 0.0022 uh, coupling cap here this is a mallory m150 so we've got these two in series i've got a 0 0.022 and a 0 0.0022 and in series, you end up with about a point, um, about a point oh oh two, which is fine, right? It, it it gives you what you need, right? So you can do this without having to remove that. Um, check out the Jakey Lee mod video that I posted 
gee, probably a year ago. Um, this is all detailed in here, right? This mod's pretty much leveraging that to a large degree. As part of mod number three, the 220k resistor goes across the game pot. You can play with this, right? Try it without the 220k. You'll find you've got kind of more gain, but it's also it might be too much gain. It might get a bit, you know, kind of a bit of blocking distortion, a bit bloated. That putting a resistor like this across a one meg pot really, you know, dials a bit of gain out and, and also dials out some of that unwieldy bottom end so it's a really it's a really cool trick um you can as i said play with that value to taste but we've got a 220k in here <laughs> Next mod is um, plate snubber, All right? So what I've got here, I'll bend it over. 470 pick a farad ceramic cap sitting across this 100k here. Right, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. What this is doing is it's peeling off um, a bit of that ice pick high end. So it's a very kind of bright amp, and particularly when you put the 2k 7.68 cask, you know two cathodes cascading one into another. We've got the one nanofarad bright cap on here. It's pretty gnarly. Um, if you find that too bright, then these plate snubbers, putting this across the plate resistor. So this is the plate resistor here, 100K for V2B. All right, it's a cathode follower on this, cathode follower on this side. This is the third gain stage on this side. So, this is actually peeling top end off in that third gain stage before it hits the cathode follower, which then drives the tone stack. Everyone who's watching this is probably familiar with that standard Marshall setup to some degree. Um, the other way to do this um, is to put the 470K, sorry, the 470 picofarad right across that 100K cathode resistor. Um, which basically has the same kind of effect, right? This is 470 picofarad up to the B plus line, which is for an AC signal is like a ground reference. Um, or you can put it across the 100 here, 100K to ground. You know, you can, you can actually try that yourself and see which one you prefer. Um, I like this. It works well here. It's cool. <laughs> mod the 22 microfarad fat cap all right so this is the 820r 820 ohm resistor which is the cathode resistor for our third gain stage here v2b um, and in the stock amp there's no bypass cap on it so it's very common in a marshall to see particularly a plexi or four holer to see uh, a bypass cap um, on that third cathode okay so the 22 microfarad is enough to for that um, bypass cap to push into the lower end of the frequency spectrum and give you a nice not only more gain out of that gain stage but a nice big rounded bottom end that's not bloated <laughs> Thank you. 
So I hope that was pretty interesting. Um, you can certainly hear the change, right, that each of these mods makes to the amp. Okay guys, well that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the clip. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do it now and ring the bell. Thumbs up on this video and I'll see you next time.